I first went to Taizé myself as a teenager. And my first memory of it, I'm afraid, is of putting up a tent in pouring rain. I really hope that won't be your experience, but it was not a bad introduction to new experiences, new kinds of things happening. Uh, pitching our tent was really a, a real experience, uh, one of the highlights of the trip. We had to work together, and at first it was kind of very difficult. We kind of jumped in and just thought, you know, we were ahead of it and we knew what we were doing. And it took us quite a while to realise that we didn't have a clue. Well, we took out all the bits and then we tried to put it up ourselves without reading the instructions. So we had to really put our heads together and really work as a team. My second experience was how very, very easy it was to make friends at Teze. People simply came along, introduced themselves, started talking. And you had to get used to talking to people from very different backgrounds, people who came from other countries and other cultures, and understanding that actually they were as interested in you as you were in them, and as glad to be with you as you were with them. Tezo is a place where people gather from around the world, from different countries, cultures and backgrounds, and different Christian denominations come together. People there were friendly. I thought it was great because I could just walk up to somebody, talk to them about my life in London, listen to them about their life in whatever country they come from, share experiences with them, because it's not something we get to do in our everyday life. Part of the Tezo experience is just that. Discovering new people, new cultures, new experiences, and finding out that the world is full of potential friends. The thing that I found best about Teze was um, making new friendships in Teze, and over quite a short period of time you can make extremely strong friendships, and I've managed to stay in touch with some people that I met in Teze through Facebook, email and Skype. The best thing I enjoyed about Teze was meeting all the young people from around the world, especially in Europe, because I've learned that the stuff that you learn in through media stereotypes and history aren't exactly true about the people and the countries they come from, and that they share similar dreams and ideas as we do. But the third experience, and in some ways the deepest memory, is of the silence in the church, in the main church at Teze, the main community church, also in the little village church, the little historic church, where sometimes the Eastern Orthodox liturgy is celebrated. The best thing for me would probably be the silence in the church. And then right in the middle of worship, we'll just have to silence where everyone just kept quiet for like 10 minutes. As the week went on, we actually realized what this time was for. It's time to reflect and be at one with yourself. Deep silence with a glow of candles people taking their time to get used to being with God. And I think one of the toughest and the most exciting aspects of being at Teze is learning to slow down, learning to let that glow surround you, the glow of words and pictures and candles, the glow in other people's faces, learning to be quiet with God, learning to let God say to you what he wants to say to you, learning that you don't have to be busy all the time to make an impression. It's all right to be where you are, to take your time with God. I hope and pray that your experience of Teze will be one that you'll remember all your lives, as I've remembered that first visit all my life. I hope it'll be a time for new friends, for new experiences of God, a time to slow down, a time to be yourself, a time to bask in the glow of prayer and of love.